Freak Accident, another track from Soul Asylum's forthcoming Slowly But Surely is now streaming. The band hits Dos Equis Pavilion in Dallas tonight. A run of dates with the Juliana Hatfield 3 begins in late September. A new song from Live, Lady Bang, She Got Me Rollin'. The band is playing on the same bill as Soul Asylum tonight in Dallas. Nightwish releases The Day Of. It's the second single from their forthcoming 10th fall length, Yesterwind, Not A Surf Drops Losing, the third single from Moon Mirror on the way September 13th. On the way October 25th, it's Into the Night Revisited, Remixed, Remastered from Whitesnake, Midnight Blue 2024 Remix. This track originally appeared on the David Coverdale solo album, Into the Night. Turning Back the Time is both a previously unreleased track recorded in 1996 featuring Lou Graham on vocals with Foreigner and the title track to the band's new 18-track retrospective on the way soon to commemorate the band's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And no, I'm not here to argue about whether or not Willie Nelson could or should be regarded as a rock artist or be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame which he is, by the way, I just wanted to show some respect for an artist who's about to release his 153rd album overall this year. Last Leaf on the Tree is on the way in November. His first album, released in 1962, looked something like this. Featuring some quite solid and energetic vocals, John Anderson and the Band Geeks released True today on vinyl and CD, their first new album since 2008. The Big Decider is now available from the Zootons. Recorded at Abbey Road and featuring production from Nile Rodgers, it's available on CD and vinyl. The band recently added North American tour dates beginning in September. And avant-garde chanteuse Laurie Anderson drops Amelia today on CD. You're telling me there's a new episode of No Time to Rock Oh my God, we have to get to the chopper. It has the best Wi-Fi. Named for the character Johnny Fontaine in the first Godfather movie, the Irish post-punk band Fontaine's DC. They added the DC, short for Dublin City, to their name after the discovery of an existing Los Angeles band already named the Fontaines. With very clear influences like Joy Division, The Cure, and The Pogues, in just a few short years, the band has garnered nominations from the BBC Music Awards, the Grammys, and more. Their fourth full-length, Romance, drops today on CD and vinyl. Brand new reissues of 1986's TGCD1 and 2009's The Third Mind Movements from industrial legends Throbbing Gristle dropped today, both albums arriving for the first time ever on vinyl. The third album from the Alan Parsons Project, Pyramid, sees multiple deluxe reissues today, including a seven-disc super deluxe edition box set. Limited to 4,000 copies worldwide, the photo album from Death Cab for Cutie gets a fresh 180-gram clear vinyl pressing, which includes a vinyl-only bonus track and downloadable B-sides and alternate tracks. 1988's winner of Metal Edge Magazine's Best New Band Award, the debut album from Britney Fox, is released on a 180-gram red vinyl pressing. Tonics and Twisted Chasers, the very difficult-to-find 1995 collector's item from Guided by Voices, is reissued today on black vinyl and on orange vinyl. It's been out of print on vinyl for a while now, but 20th anniversaries often lead to reissues. And electropunk rockers The Prodigy reissue their fourth album, Always Outnumbered, Never Outgunned, that drops anew today on a 2LP 180-gram vinyl edition. Originally released in 2007, The Inner Sanctum from Saxon arrives today, limited to a 1,000 run of silver-colored 180-gram vinyl. Here's something that's a bit out there, but for NXS fans, I think this is mandatory. A 10-inch red vinyl picture disc of what are now fully produced, unfinished ideas Hutchins had been developing for a potential solar release early in the 21st century. One way and save my life. 1982's The Blurred Crusade from the Church is reissued today on a 180-gram blue vinyl pressing, and it's the 30th anniversary of Grassroots from 311. That's now available on an expanded 2LP clear vinyl with brown swirls edition featuring five bonus tracks. Drop a comment if you have thoughts about any of this week's releases. Support your local independent record store. Those are the guys that care a lot. Follow the No Time to Rock 2024 playlist on Spotify for instant access to all of the featured tracks on the channel. This week's curated playlist and another episode of No Time to Rock are just a click away. And whatever you do, however you do it, don't you ever stop rocking.